So, today what we're doing is, uh, you know, this is a fishing and outdoors channel. I'm a big hunter. I don't usually put in the hunting stuff on video. I got a couple of properties that trap hogs at. Uh, right now we're just on one property, but damn hogs are tearing up this people's land. And the problem is I got my trap out and stuff. But they're on the adjacent property. Ugh, I'm tired. They're on the adjacent property and we have to get to them. So I've been trying to lure them over because they had come on to you know my client's property and rooted up his lawn pretty bad. I'll show you some video of that when I get there. So put up the trap and for some reason that they're not coming back over. They're staying on the other side of the fence line, just over the fence line. So and anybody knows in Florida, you, you, you can't trespass on someone's property. That's criminal trespass with a firearm, which is a felony. And no way, no, you don't want that. So got permission to go on the other person's property, the other neighbor who has the hogs there, because it always works like this. The hogs are gonna tear up your property. They come from someone else's property. That's just how it works, man, all the time. And I actually went the wrong way. So we got a longer ride ahead of us here. So I've trapped on a couple of properties and it, it, it's always 100% of the time, it's, you know, they're coming from the other property. And you can either never get a hold of the owner or it's a really old guy who you just don't want you over there. Or, or, or it's some guy that's like, yeah, I got grandkids. They like to hunt dogs, can't come out here, whatever. So, property I'm on now he, the guy went and talked to the neighbor the neighbor said yeah you got permission to hunt out there and do what you want and just you know whenever you get properties like this or permission to do stuff like this you have to you got to make sure that you, you're in good communication with the owner of the property because you want to make sure like me right now I'm heading to the property where the traps at I texted the homeowner headed to your property even though he gave me full permission to always enter, great guy. He's actually a retired uh, law enforcement. But still, you don't want to go on nobody's property without letting them know, number one, okay, or texting them or anything. You, just, you always want to let them know. Don't get too comfortable. That's how you end up getting shot. Or, you know, if you piss off the customer and just say you, you, you got a hog in the trap, you left blood and a bunch of gloves there, and the customer just got pissed and just said, you know, I'm going in the house, I'm done with him. And the next morning you show up and he's kind of pissed, he don't want you there. Well, that could be a situation. So take that with caution. Use that as you want. My advice. You don't want to, don't care. Um, so we got permission to go on the other side of the property. So we're headed there right now. I'm going to go put some stank corn in the trap because I didn't want to put corn in the trap last night because... I was busy, well, the night before, which would be Friday night, because I was busy Saturday from 5 in the morning all the way to the afternoon, and if I had a hog in there, he's going to end up either getting his neck stuck in the wire, killing himself, dying in there, jacking my track up, I don't know. I like to make sure hogs don't stay in there no more than a couple of hours. So I'm going to go put some stank corn in the trap, which is our little secret mix we got a stank corn. And I'm going to go over the fence and merge onto this other property and see if we could track, find, possibly harvest a hog. So see if we get us a Florida hog. Uh, I got my cell phone today. I didn't want to bring the GoPro because it's my first time going onto the other guy's property. And if I meet him, yeah, you show up a camera gear and stuff like that, it's gonna be like, oh, what the hell is this crap? So I'm being real cautious, cautious of what I do. So, almost missed my turn again. So we're headed there now. And we will get back to it once we get to the trap and bait the trap. We'll get back to it. All right, this is our trap. I actually build these traps custom. 
But what we had here was, oh yeah, them hogs been here heavy last night. Destroying this guy's property right here. And they were here like, oh, they go, look at them turkeys. Look at them wild turkeys. Another turkey off the roost, look at that. Another turkey off the roost, look at that. Another turkey, look, two more turkeys back there. Virus, look at all them turkeys back there. Oh my lord. Look at all them turkeys. They're clucking at me. Well, look what damage that hogs do. So, I'm gonna try to get this trap we bait. And they're coming from that side, so I'm gonna jump that fence and walk this is around. the property we got permission to hunt on. We'll walk back in there and see what's going on. waiting to get a text from the homeowner to say that I'm clear to go back in there. Got some more rooting right here. text me and I'll walk back in there. Your hair is tore up. Got a swampy area around here. Pretty sure once I get around the back side of this, I'll push him. Right here is a hog wall. That's where the hogs will sleep at at night. Looks like so far about two to three hogs back here. Continue walking. Got a hog trail back in there. You'll see a lot of these tunnels in the woods. Like they're walking in and out of the trees. They're making tunnels. Right, I'm gonna put this camera down. I need to walk back here and have my gun ready. Walking through a real swampy area here. Hogs like to come through here and cool down in the hot time of the day, which is now. See what happens. If it gets too deep, I'll turn around. And that's a nice little dip buck rub right there. Look at that. He's rubbing that really good, that buck. Man, that's awesome. Nice to see. Probably like a little basket six or something. All right, so we're walking around out here. Yeah, swamp to the left of us. It's really hot out right now. I think they might be in that swamp. I'm just gonna stake out the rest of the property at the dry side. See what comes on here. I need to have my gun ready to fire. We made it to the other owner's fence line. Property line. There wasn't too much hog damage around here, but there's definitely a deer trail. And I don't really think the hogs are coming from this side. I will take a walk down the property fence line and go back to hit the right side. Walked up on a little deer bed. 
Looks like deer bedding around here. I don't want to walk through their bed and put my scent on it and mess them up. I'm not here for the deer at the moment. I'm here for the hogs. Keep on walking. Deer prints around, so the deer are up. There are some bucks around here. They're rubbing this place up. Back by the trap. One side note I want to give you guys, and this is important if you get a, a, a person to even let you walk on their property to stalk around or find or even hunt. You want to make sure you always shut people's gates. That will be a major deal breaker. Two things that are major deal breakers. Not shutting people's gates. Leaving trash around. If you're eating, take your trash away. If you don't shut their gate and one of their cows come out the pasture, you're fucked. Sorry for my language. Another thing too, when you're shooting, be careful you don't shoot their cows or their horses. And if one of those cows were to somehow get out and get on the road and the person hits it and kills them, all you had to do was come up here. Just lock this gate. All right. Remember to always lock gates. You gotta be safe. You wanna keep a good relationship with the person you're trapping with. If you follow these rules, you'll be all right. We'll get back to this. I'm not sure if I'm going to put a tree stand up it here tonight we'll figure it out but thanks for coming along appreciate everyone that watches uh, any questions about hog hunting or anything you could always let me know because i'm a big hog hunter and a big bass fisherman those two things are my passions he says my wife and family always remember lock that gate later